Hello everyone, Gilly here. In this episode of Less Than Enough Haskell, I wanted to talk about the either type. Now, if you've been following along, we've been building up this little program to play rock, paper, scissors, a whole bunch of games and kind of mush them together. Now, up to this point, I've been using nothing to represent an error that might happen. Now, that's not very useful, because if you actually run this thing, you don't know exactly what the error is. So if I run it, it just says nothing, because it was an empty game. If I do repeats, which is another error condition by the game's definition in this instance, at least, it also just says nothing. I have no idea exactly what's wrong. So the either type is kind of a nice way to mush two possible types together. So let's go ahead and let's introduce a couple of things really quick um, to get started. Let's introduce an error, um, and I'll just say something bad happened. So that's kind of like nothing. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot. It just tells you that something's not right. So we're going to start with this. Um, but basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at all these places we have maybes and we're going to need to replace those with eithers. Now, some of the things that will break in doing that are this just right here, that'll break because just is a constructor for option types or maybe types. Um, nothing will also break because nothing is a value of either types. So we need to kind of fix that a little bit and I'm actually going to make things a little more generic as we go. So instead of saying just, I'm going to say pure everywhere. Pure is, in Haskell, just kind of a way to construct a value that has the applicative interface. Um, now, if you're not too familiar with the applicative type class, interface type class, um, you don't have to know too much about it, but basically just know this is a way to construct a maybe, or construct an either, or construct a list with a single value in it. So this will construct something for you. Now, this should actually still work as is. Nothing should change. Okay, it still works. Let me get rid of this R and run it again. It still works. So basically what we've done is we've just made this a lot more generic, or potential to, potentially it can be a lot more generic now because we've just used pure. So let's go ahead and let's start making this either. So it's going to be either an error or whatever the old result type was. So if we just replace all of those maybes with an either, we should be most of the way there. Now the thing that's going to break is going to be all these nothings. So we have a whole bunch of breakages. Um, and a lot, if you look at the right, a lot of these are just kind of the nothings. So what do we want to do? Well, we need to do a couple of things. Um, first off, I'm going to derive show just so that we can print these errors out. Um, but basically what we can do is we can just replace all of our nothings with a left of something bad happened. And that will effectively swap out the maybe type for the either type fully. And it's working now in right. In either type, it's general that right means success, left means error. So that's kind of cool, but we haven't really solved the problem of making more specific errors. Well, since the left value is this error type and we can kind of define whatever we want here, well, we can just go ahead and make some more specific error types. So. If we look at what, what these errors are trying to say, this first one, we're parsing out rock, paper, scissors, or an empty list. And then if anything else comes through, well, that's kind of just an unrecognized character. So let's go ahead and let's make that our first error. So unrecognized character can be our first error. Okay, so what other errors do we have? Okay, so here we have repeats happening. So we'll say repeat happened or repeat found. And if we wanted to, we could say exactly what's repeating. We're not going to do that right now. And then this last one is empty game. Um, we're not allowed to just play an empty game. What would we say if we played an empty game? Well, we're going to say there's an error and it's empty game. So now when we go ahead and we run it, we get more clear errors. So this is an error int right there. That's okay. But if we put a repeat at the top level, that should cause an error. And it does. Left repeat found. Also, if we play an empty game, we should see an error, empty game. And then what was the last one? The last one was, do, 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 oh, bad character. So if we put C in here, C is not RP or S, we should get unrecognized character. And really quickly, let's go ahead and let's enhance that one just so I can show what that would look like with the actual character that we found. So that's going to be C. So we can just kind of go ahead and wrap this up. And now we have 
something that will actually hold on to the unrecognized character. So if we run it again, it's going to say unrecognized character C. So hopefully that was pretty useful for you and showed you kind of how you might go from a maybe type to an either type and kind of the reason you would do that. Again, maybe just says nothing. It doesn't tell you a lot of interesting context about why the nothing's there. With either, you can stick anything you want into that left value and get more context on your error states. Thanks for watching. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments, or if you have anything you'd like to see, please do likewise.